You know those overpriced audiobook players for kids with physical cards? This is day one of designing my own so that anyone can build one. But it already works, so here's why I'm rebuilding it from the ground up. Right now, I'm using an ESP32 and a Raspberry Pi Pico. That was a quick way to get the prototype working, but it's overkill. I'm swapping the little audio board for one that has a built-in headphone jack. Similar size, cleaner sound, and the kids can plug in their headphones in a car. I miswired the USB-C last time and cooked the board. Remember my video on USB-C voltages? Yeah, I learned that the hard way. The separate on-off module costs more than it's worth. I'll use a deep sleep feature on the microcontroller and wake it with a long press instead. I forgot the resistors on the buttons and even crossed two data traces. I had to cut and rewire by hand. The new PCB will fix all that so that it just works. The current RGB LED is way too bright and lights up the entire case. I'll see if I can switch to a smaller one or just turn down the brightness. The rear panel screws on with four bolts, slow and fiddly. I'm redesigning it to slide in, held by one screw, just like a battery door. Lastly, the software. I want to add Bluetooth audio so wireless headphones work. This one's pretty ambitious though. It looks tough to get running reliably, but I know it's possible, so I'd love to make it happen. At the moment, I have to take out the SD card every time I want to upload new songs or audiobooks onto the player. I want to do this wirelessly so that the microcontroller will spin up a small server that allows me to send songs directly through Wi-Fi. Follow along to see how this turns out. 